Hi, my name is Josh Magmentai, and this is Van Katze Fuala Bechitze. Cinema and animation aren't all that different. Both are audiovisual mediums used to tell stories, save for the very obvious difference of the added difficulty that comes with manually creating each frame. The two require a lot of the same people and work. An animation requires writers behind the story, storyboard artists behind shot composition and blocking, and a director whose vision guides the whole process, just as a live action film or series does. <laughs> Even as a live-action filmmaker, I've found that there's so much to learn from animation that applies to my work. For example, despite current technology pushing cinematography, both in live-action and in animation, towards this concept of a fluid, moving frame, cheap gimbals and cheaper drones rendering one's impossible camera movement effortless, I found myself often throwing the camera down onto the sticks and really considering what's in front of it. Um, me? Yeah, uh, you know me. I'm about the same. As I've grown in my craft, I have discovered this appreciation for a frame crafted just as carefully as a painting, one that, while still, has my eyes flying all over the composition for details that could only come from the image. I can trace my appreciation for the art of such a frame from Hideaki Anno's Neon Genesis Evangelion, a genre-defining mecha anime from 1995. On the surface, Evangelion is about a life-or-death struggle between humanity and the angels, otherworldly beings hell-bent on destroying the human race, or something like that. Oh my god. Is it an Ava? No, it, it can't be. Yes, the key to the second impact and everything that's happened since. The starting point of everything. This is Adam. Yeah, something like that. At the same time, complex global political tensions, secret organizations bordering on clandestine order, and underlying conspiracy thicken an already thick plot. Evangelion has no trouble throwing an audience straight into this mess. As one might imagine, the animation of such a grandiose story on the scale of 26 30-minute episodes might have cost quite a bit back in 1995. Over the course of Evangelion's half-year run, production studio Gainax began to run tight on budget and time. Presumably to cut animation costs, the studio utilized techniques considered by some to be incredibly controversial, including the use of stills featuring little to no animation whatsoever. The local train, Balfagora, is now arriving on track 4. For your own safety, please stay inside the yellow line. If you are accompanying small children, please ensure that they are properly... The train arriving on track 4 is the local shuttle to Gora, departing at 4.32. If this is your train, please step inside and wait until departure. The train is approaching. It's 46, nearing on 47 seconds of complete inaction within the frame. Even the trains mentioned by the announcers never come. This non-animation can be seen in other more tense sequences too. Into the target center, while simultaneously activating the AT fields of both remaining AVAs in such a way as to disrupt the hypothetical circuit that encloses the angel's pocket interior. If we concentrate enough explosive power during that same microsecond, we could destroy the angel along with the Duroc C that makes up its body. But the damage to AVA would be... Should you wouldn't... What in the hell kind of rescue operation is this? Our priority is to... And after picking through the series for more of these, it becomes clear that this is not just a case of limited resources on the studio's part. Look, I'm sorry. About what? Um, uh, well, um, um, aren't you going to have a reactivation test today? Aren't you scared, right? Aren't you afraid of piloting Unit Zero? Why? Well, I heard that you were hurt pretty bad in an earlier experiment, so... It's a deliberate choice. Anno does this reliably when the relationship between the two characters on screen is changing, second by second. Even if it feels like the outside world has stopped, the worlds within and in between these two people is still ticking away. If 
you don't open your mind to her, your Ava will not move. You're saying this is my fault? I'm blocking myself? Yes, Ava has its own mind. It's just a big toy. Then you don't know. Ha! Now I know something's up when Wonder Girl starts talking to me. For better or for worse, and in this world, far too often worse. These shots garnered an immense critical reaction, which was justified, of course, seeing as they were often drawn out ad nauseum. Audiences just weren't looking to watch a 30-minute animation comprised of one-minute stills. However, it is in these moments that Evangelion really proves its status as the deconstructivist masterpiece people claim it to be. While Evangelion is a series with a massive, larger-than-life story, it's more so a character study of the individuals who live in its world, fighting its struggle, their worries, their desires, their hopes. Instead of seeing laziness and a lack of effort on the studio's behalf, I see a mark of realism that grounds Evangelion's fantastical story of mechas finding angels. These long shots are small reminders that the show isn't about the plot as much as it is about its characters and the meaningful relationships they have with one another. Garu said that he loved me. I've never felt such kindness before. He was like me. I realized that life, real life anyway, is comprised more of these quiet, significant, still moments than it is of choreographed floating grandeur. It's this brand of realism, the kind that's extraordinary and carries weight, not just in the detail of a frame, but also in its focus on the human condition that I strive to cultivate in my own work. He deserved to live. No. Misato, how can you be so cruel? 